Hello, hello everyone. My name is Stiftsrun and welcome back to my Western Roman Empire campaign. So, before we start, I just quickly gotta actually, sorry about that, I should have done this before I started recording, but I forgot about it. There we go. Just started my uh, my stopwatch on my phone right there. Anyway, so, um, at the end of the last part, you saw the, the game crash for me, and um, that caused me to be reset to the end of my previous turn. Which means I I did know that the, I believe, Hunnic, yeah, it was Hunnic, right? Hunnic attack would come on the, the settlement up here. And I moved an army over there, they attacked again, and that time I could auto resolve, and I actually won it. So, uh, yeah, I know I don't like it. Uh, I find it kind of cheating, but I'm not going to sit idly back and wait for it to happen. Also, it's not like I cheated, it's the game that, that said, hey, you, this is not going to happen anymore. Go back to the previous save with you, and, uh, well, so it was. But anyway, other stuff that actually did happen, interestingly enough, is that Asia, the faction Asia, decided to attack me. And invade me. Invade Rhodes, or Rhodos. Which is interesting, I must say, because, well... Most of the fleets, almost all of them, all of the ships, I, I should say, are actually troop carriers. Which means that I have like the perfect navy for this. Of course they have these guys coming in as well, but ah, so be it. I have more and hopefully I won't have lost that many before I actually before I actually uh, get to them. Also the faction leader is in on this, so if I can kill him then hooray. So, um all that I really think I need to worry about is uh, the cavalry and if they have any uh, artillery that is loaded off before the battle starts. Because I don't have the greatest garrison and I don't know what I'm really going to do with these guys. Do I want to land them? Or do I just want to use them as rams? Maybe I just want to use them as rams because the, the numbers aren't that great, so... I guess I uh, really have to hope that these two units of Legio Cuminatense can actually hold this. Hmm. So that's going to be interesting. I I can't say I have the greatest trust in them. It's actually quite a bit of cavalry that is coming towards them. Oh. But look at this layout. This this backside garage. They only have to worry about one choke point. That'd be great. No, in my luck, though, it probably isn't. But don't stop believing, as as a few bands have told me multiple times in the same song. So, an emperor ought to die standing. Well, I'll try to get this emperor to die a drowning. So. Laying down or drowning, what is best, you decide. The birds outside are very eager. I don't blame them, it's a beautiful day, currently. Yeah, I really need to get outside after this. I'm also planning to, so... And... Thank you, finally. Oh, this is disorganized. Uh, let's see, let's look at this layout. Oh, it's, yeah, it's it's great. <laughs> wow, it has, um, I was going to say one, but it actually has two uh, entrance ways. Wow. And I have two units available to me, initially at least. And they should be... They shouldn't be amazing against cavalry by any means, but they're information, so they should be able to at least hold them off. So, I don't think the cavalry should be able to break that. Also, uh, hopefully all my towers will be able to do something to stop them. So, um, I want to, like, funnel these guys close to the towers. So, it seems that uh, all the initial cavalry, at least, is uh, coming in from this direction. So, I'm hoping that um, they... I'm hoping that they get shot at by this tower and this tower. So, the way I'm going to do that is say, hey, you can't get here. So, hopefully they're going to go around here. Yeah, I don't think cavalry can actually break down barriers. 
I might be wrong on that, but uh, yeah. Just in case. Hmm. Very crammed, all of this. Oh well. Uh, now for the actual punch of my, uh, my forces. Okay. So. All of these... All of these uh, ships right here, they're transport ships. So, I don't really know how much I have to fear them. I guess I can have like one ramming ship over here, but... Let's have the majority of our rams over here. And I guess this guy as well. So, are we good? I think we might be. Yeah, but this is still gonna be a tense battle. This is also this is the initial navy. They have reinforcements. Oh dear. But yeah, I can take I can take comfort in the fact that I actually have units that are suited for this. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, reinforcements come in from right behind them. Of course. Of course it does. Enemy reinforcements. The winds at their back. Oh, and here as well. Well then. Okay. Just trying to do my best. Hopefully, um, some of these guys will be dead in one hit. Hopefully. Oh, there we go, there we go, and there you go. Well, there goes their... Uh, I was gonna say General, but uh, I guess it's technically Admiral at this point. Okay, this is the proper Navy, I believe. I think. Oh, are they going to land? Oh, oh, okay, I can't have them land. Um, I definitely can't have them land. Oh, oh dear, if they land, I'm, I'm dead. I'm just dead. Like, seriously, I'm... Yeah, they're all gonna land. Um, yeah, they, they have the, the right idea. I'm not gonna blame them. Well, let's uh, try to crack down on their proper navy then. The general has been killed. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. Come on, get your. There you go. That wasn't strong enough. That didn't do any damage actually. Somehow. Going out to my, uh, my admiral, are you? Well, let's see how that pans out for you. The enemy is boarding one of our ships. Yeah, a lot of things happening at the same time here, so... It's, it's a bit confusing, to say the least. But what is pretty great is the fact that these guys aren't landing, so at least I have that going for me. Well, not all of them are landing. How's this going? Um, okay, you guys are not doing anything. And you actually captured the tower. Oh. Or, never mind, never mind. You're just very close to getting it. Okay, how's this looking? Uh, okay, pretty okay. Not amazing, but pretty okay. Are 
Bandit is running from the enemy. Okay. Yeah, this is actually looking very, very okay. Um, would I say I have the advantage? Maybe. I would maybe say that. Because so many Asian ships are now at the bottom of the sea. Yeah, if I can sink all of this, then I'm good. I Then I think I basically won this. Amazingly. Of course, I can't take anything for granted. These cavalrymen can still break all of this. Although, I think it's unlikely now, because they're actually starting to vapor all over the place. <clears throat> there we go, I want this ship sunk, please. Yeah, get these guys. You're a proper admiral, so that shouldn't be any problem to you. Okay, they are starting to... <coughs> Sorry. Said, um, said in the previous video I wasn't perfectly well yet, and uh, that's unfortunately still the case. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, they are starting to land troops here, so uh, it might be time for me to do the same pretty soon. Although, we'll see about that. I need to at least uh, destroy what I can first. So the cavalry is as good as dead because they've <laughs> like been standing around doing fuck all, basically. <laughs> Which I approve. I approve of. Because more more power to me then. In terms of uh, balance of power and all of that. And right now it's solidly in my favor. Even though the the amount of men is almost exactly the same. Uh, well, until then. And now they just chain routes. Asia, suck it. I don't have any cavalry that can chase those guys down, so uh, I'm just gonna end it. <laughs> Look at those losses. 3,100. Well, that's, that's, that's what happens when you come at a fully prepared navy with naval units that aren't naval units. And this guy. Which, well, you didn't have enough of him. Phew, so that was, um, that was a, I wouldn't say a close call, but it definitely, it definitely would have been the end for me there, uh, quite, quite decisively in Rhodes. Okay, so, well, that's too bad for you, and very well for me. Hmm. He has some good traits. Yeah. It's not part of my family, is it? It's a, it's a shame we can't check that. Oh, this is my, um... Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, because I was seeking a bride, wasn't I? This is my heir. Uh, yeah, take her hand. She has, uh... Personal influence, agent self-defense. For the husband, wow. And hostile eva agent's evasion chance for the husband. That's very nice. Also, you're the same age, so take her hand. Boom. That was great. Okay, so is this the... No, that's not the army I pushed back, but it's the other running army. <coughs> so, yeah, I moved this army down here, so that's why I could hold off uh, the other army. I had some help from... What was it? Like the Gepids or something? Uh, and we aren't allied, but we're mutually at war with the, the, the Huns, so that's why we're the war with each other, apparently. Also, I had a comment that uh, I should try to uh, take Greece, go into Corinth and take Greece from there. And it's tempting, and I might do that later down the road, but not immediately. And the reason for that is that I have 
Well, I can't have another army. I don't have the cash for that. And these three armies, four actually, are all needed to defend against the Huns because the Huns are the biggest the biggest potential uh, for a pain I have right now. Let's see if we can... Oh, oh, oh. This is actually Attila. Can I... Oh, th this is going to be risky. It's not even guaranteed that they will fight this. Forgive me, but I cannot. Yes, you definitely can. That is impossible. There we go. How can I serve the people of Rome? Okay. Also, this guy. Um. Well, if they don't want this battle, then that's going to be very, very. Well, it's going to leave all of this completely exposed. So I. <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to end this part soon because of, well, obvious reasons. Um, but yes, um, I think I'll keep this army up here, just, just in case these guys don't want to meet me for a battle. Okay, so, mercenaries. How's this now looking? Not well at all. Well, but but they are willing to meet me in the battle. So should I just go all in? Yeah, let's just go all in. Uh, that's actually not what I wanted. Are you still in? Yes, you are. And you can attack again. Apparently you can't, but you are in reinforcement range and I have other units that can be the attacking unit, right? Yeah. Now we'll be reinforced by... Three other armies, and also the garrison, I believe. Oh dear. Uh, oh wow. There's gonna be a massive engagement. Me against two Hunnic armies, which... Um, it should be mentioned that they have a solid morale effect on my units, since I am Christian. Night attack. Oh. Not a good idea, apparently. Hmm. But I have, well, I have 7,900 troops versus 4,400. So I'm really hoping that what I lack in morale and to some degree I would, well, I say that, I don't know, but to some degree quality, maybe, compared to some of these troops. Uh, I hope I make that up in just sheer numbers. So, um, uh, I'm gonna fight this, but, um, yeah, I'm noticing that my voice is just starting to break, so, um, if I continue any further, I'm just gonna cough your ears in, so. I'm sorry about the very short part today, I realize it's a very short one. Thankfully, uh, you had an exciting battle. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully that is enough, uh, <laughs> for you. At least, at least you got a part as opposed to the last two weeks. Uh, sorry about that again, but you, you know the reason by now. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna try to fight this battle in the next part. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be fun. Very fun. And also they have the exact same army. Anyway, I thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys come back and watch the next part. Where we hopefully will kill Attila. Hurrah. Goodbye for now.